and welcome to my youtube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to make creative timeline slide in powerpoint. So let's start. Enable the guides by going to view tab. Click on guides. Go to insert tabs, shapes and select a triangle here and draw the triangle. Maybe this size is enough make it align center and make no outline now if you see here you can see here is uh, the triangle is a curved one but here the edges are very sharp to make the curve uh, triangle select the object right mouse click and say edit points and the top one here select the point right mouse click and say smooth point it will become like this then select this the bottom one and just drag inside can you see it's becoming like a curve a bell curve uh, diagram kind of thing all right so here this is one of our uh, the triangle is ready now with the curve shape i'm going to change the background of the slide by going to the format background or you can go right mouse click and say format background and the color I'm going to use as orange or you can use any other color for example I have used black as well here so it's up to you to decide which color uh, suits you okay and then I'm just making this as a white and let me just make a transparency of say 25% so we have to just copy this one and we have to just add the, the other timelines here you can see we have got one two three four five six timelines here on the top and six at the bottom so i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d and just maybe till here and i'm just going to reduce the size okay you can if you want you can just increase some more and i'm doing the same thing just bring this one here and if you want to reduce further or if you want to make maybe this one is enough okay so similarly i'm just going here and i'm adding one more and i'm going to increase the size maybe this much and reduce it okay same thing i'm just going to go here reduce little bit and the last one I'm using which is the smaller one the same thing I'm just doing it here and I'm making it smaller all right so the one which we have the, uh, the upper part timeline is ready now so we have to do just the, the below one you can just adjust the transparency percentage here for example this one I want to make it say 30% this one I want to make say 15% this one I'll just say 40% likewise so you can just uh, play with the, the transparency levels here okay now I'm going to select all these objects right mouse click and group it and I'm just reducing the size of so that it comes generally like this all right now I'm going to just copy make a duplicate of this one duplicate copy just press ctrl D go to format tab rotate and say flip vertical and just bring it something like this here see the shape is almost uh, ready now here if you see this uh, particular the bottom timelines uh, there are some uh, shapes uh, which are not a uh, curved one again to remove the curved object uh, right mouse click on that one on the any object you want and say edit points again select the bottom point here and say straight point 
okay and then you can just reduce like this okay so it becomes like that so if you want whichever objects uh, you want to have like this you can just make it maybe i want to make it for this one edit points right mouse click and say straight point and just So I was I want to just make this one somewhat big. Alright. Now it's time to add the the text here. Now I want to add this uh, circles here, which you can see this one. Okay, which I have used as 0.3 inches. So go to insert shapes and select a circle here over and make it 0.3 inches and shape fill give as white and shape outline make it uh, white shape fill just make it uh, orange itself and shape outline white with weight color sorry a weight line is something around six point uh, six points and just bring it here i'm just going to copy this one all here just one by one just copy each and every timeline here okay added all the circles here now now it's time to add the text I'm just going to add the text here so the same thing I'm just going to put it and you can just change the, the text you need okay I'm just copy let me just copy it in all the places now I have added the text here it's time to add uh, some numbers here which is one two three four just bring this one and give the color the same as orange okay so just add the remaining uh, numbers till 12 the last step is to do the animation now to do the animation select the object first of all ungroup this one right mouse click and ungroup and this as well And select one object first and go to animation animation pane and add animation say I will say more effects and peek in okay just select peek in here so if you see here it will be like this okay you can do the similarly again I'm just going to add now this is second add animation more entrance effects and select peek in this should happen I can say with previous or after previous if I say with previous it will look like this okay so only thing is this is coming from effect this is coming from bottom and this should come from top okay like that so if I just say like this so similarly we have to do the same thing add animation more intense effects peek in this is from bottom and this is from top again add animation this one i'm just going to do after previous select this one peek in and this should be from top okay and this also with previous so if you see the okay like this Similarly, we'll do the, the remaining one as well. 
now after the animation the slide looks like this hope you enjoyed this video friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel always vfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then